How do you feel? That is the question. But I forget you don't expect it. Hello and welcome to my first ever guitar tutorial here on YouTube. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Stone Sours Through Glass. It's a very easy and a very catchy beginner song. Now, before I teach you, there's some quick facts about the song I need to tell you. First of all, uh, the song, if you want to play along the real version, uh, you need to tune your guitar down half a step. I'm not going to do that, however, I'm going to play it in standard tuning. Because it still sounds very good and uh, some uh, beginners etc. out there might have trouble tuning the guitar. Uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, uh, the entire song consists of just three power chords. So if you learn those, you're going to have a real easy time uh, learning this song. And also, the song consists of, there's an intro, and then there's uh, a verse and chorus, just like any other song. Uh, and what's so good about this is that the verse and the chorus, they are exactly the same. So yeah, uh, let's start with the power chords. Now, the reason why this song is so easy to learn is that there's just three power chords throughout the entire song. They're used in the intro, they're used in the chorus, they're used in the verse, they're used throughout the entire song in the exact same order as well. And that's why the song is so, so simple. So, this here is the first power chord. What you do, you put your pointer finger on the 3rd fret, on the A string and your ring finger or pinky finger on the 5th fret on the D string and it should sound like this and now, this is the 2nd shape as you can see, it looks very similar to the 1st one it's because it's basically the same. You have the same shape on the same string and you slide up two frets. So here you have your pointer finger on the fifth fret, A string, and your ring or pinky on the seventh fret on the D string. And it should sound like this. Your third and final power chord for this song, once more, just like before, slide up two frets exact same shape exact same strings so now you have your pointer finger on the seventh fret on the a string and your ring or pinky on the ninth fret of the d string and it sounds like this those are the three power chords you need to learn this song very very easy so now that you know the power chords that are used in the song let's move on to the intro okay so like I said before there's only three power chords that are used and they're used in the intro the verse and chorus so in the intro you first take take your first power chord and instead of strumming it, you pick A, B, and an open B string. Once you've done that, slide to your second shape and you pick the exact same string once more. A, D, open B. After that, you move to your third shape. Now, instead of picking A, D, B, you pick E, open E, A, D, open G. And then you move back, so you pick D and A once more. And you do that twice, so it sounds like this.
once you've done that's the first half of the intro once you've done that you move back to the beginning so once more you pick you take the first shape and you pick A D open B once more just like before slide to your second shape and pick A Third shape once more, but this time you strum down, up, down. And that's the entire intro. Now I'm going to play the entire thing for you slowly. Okay, so the chorus and the verse, they are the same, just like I said before. And it's super easy. Uh, the only thing that might be tricky about it would be the strumming pattern. Uh, uh, I'm going to play it for you, real quick. Okay, so what I usually do when I have trouble learning a strumming pattern or a rhythm, you have to listen to the song a lot. If you're having trouble with it, just play the song on repeat. Eventually you will have it. Uh, another thing I usually do, I actually uh, learned this from another guy doing tutorials on YouTube. He uh, he mutes all his strings, so just put your palm over your strings so there's no sound and just play the rhythm and ignore the chords. So the rhythm for this would be It might be hard if I <clears throat> It might be hard in the beginning, but it gets better. So slowly it would be So once you get that rhythm you can start adding the chord so like <laughs> 